Hi everyone, welcome to the episode number 13. Now we are going to solve a very interesting problem. Combination sum 2. Okay, it is going to teach you a lot of things and it is also going to teach you that you should keep referring to the lectures which you have already watched. You should also retain those things, right? Then only you will be able to figure out the patterns between problems and solve them very easily. But before we start, I want you all to give a like and a comment on this particular video. It really motivates me and it is very important thing. Okay, to keep myself motivated is very important. So please give your likes and your comments. And if you are new here, subscribe to the channel. So let me tell you what the problem statement is. So earlier in the lecture number 12, we saw that we were given an array and we had to generate all the possible combinations whose summation is equal to the given target B. Okay. Now the thing is, we could reuse the same element again and again there, right? We could reuse the same element. Now here the problem statement is different. Okay. Here they're asking us to generate all the possible combinations whose summation is equal to the given target, but we can use one element only once. We can use one occurrence of an element only once, but we will be given duplicate elements here. So let me take an example. Things will become much more clear once we start solving that. Okay. So let us say we are given 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 1 this is the example which is given to us you can see the elements are repeating this and this these are two duplicate elements now if we start finding all the possible subsets uh, for this are we going to have duplicates in the subsets yes we saw this in the episode number 10 where we were finding unique subsets okay so the problem comes when there are duplicate elements because there are duplicate elements we will generate the subsets, we will get duplicate subsets. Okay, because there are duplicate elements, if we go on generating all the possible subsets, we will get duplicate subsets as well. We need to avoid those duplicate subsets. Okay, here also in this problem, we need to find only the unique subsets, the unique combinations whose summation is equal to the given summation target. And we are going to have duplicates over here. So we are going to handle it in the same way, in the exact same way, that we did in the episode number 10. So if you have not watched that, make sure that you do. All the prerequisites are given in the description. You can go to each one of them, solve it, uh, watch the lectures, come back again, try to solve the problem by yourself. Problem link is there in the description as well. So we are given this array. We need to find all the possible combinations, unique combinations whose summation is equal to the given target. And in this example, the target is five. Okay, so now let us start exploring this. So if you remember lecture number 10, the very first thing that we have to do is to bring all the same elements similar elements together for that we need to sort it so after sorting it will become 1 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 okay and why do we bring them together because we saw that when we are ignoring an element for every element we have two options right one option is to take it one option is to ignore it so when we are ignoring an element we are ignoring all the future occurrences of that element as well so for example in this case this is 0, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3. Indexing, I am just indexing them. i is equal to 0 initially. If I am ignoring this one, which is at index number 0, I will be ignoring all the occurrences of this one ahead of this. So basically, let's say if I am ignoring this particular one, which is at index 0, I will not be going to index number 1. I will be going to index number 2. I will ignore all the occurrences of 1. That's how I avoid duplicates in the subset. And I'm going to follow the exact same procedure. When I am skipping an element, I will skip all the occurrences of that element. When I'm considering that element, I will just go to the next one. I will just go to the next element, right? So following the same strategy, let us start coding this. This is exactly same. So I'm not drawing the recursion tree. You don't basically need it. Just see the last lecture. Just see the lecture number 10. You will be able to understand everything. Okay. So again, uh, shall I copy paste the code? Okay. Let us copy paste the code from the subset two problem. Then I will show you there's only a slight modification, right? This is the subset two. Let me just copy the code from here. And don't think I'm just copying and pasting and not you are not able to understand why I'm doing this copy paste is because you will see that this is exactly the same thing. Pick, skip. When we are picking the element, we are putting it in the subset and then calling recursion and then popping it out, right? We are pushing it in the subset, asking recursion to do rest of the task and then popping it out. And we are going to i plus one because we picked up this element. We will go to i plus one. Now skipping when we are ignoring the ith element, we will skip all the occurrences of 
this particular element which is ahead of this okay so that's what we are doing in the line number 15 for better understanding again i am saying go to the lecture number 10 you will be able to understand everything there okay all right so help i plus one this 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 done now what should i do i should also keep i should also keep a summation over here in sum and here also passing the sum here also passing the sum and when we are picking this element we should also increment this sum sum plus equal to a r r of i if we are selecting the ith element we are adding it into the sum okay done apart from that any other changes do we need to make yes the base conditions obviously first of all if the sum reaches the destination what is the destination destination is equal to this target so let us also take this target int target we got the target and i should also pass the target here target target okay when sum is equal to equal to the target then we should save this answer and then return from here save this answer return from here okay if sum is exceeding the target if sum is greater than the target in that case return from here don't do anything and if i is equal to n we can't do anything right we already reached till the end so simply return from here done so these are the three base conditions we also kept these three base conditions in the last lecture as well so we are using again those three base conditions okay then uh, don't need to put this done okay let us try to run this let us first make the subset vector of int subset and a vector of vector int answer and int sum is equal to 0 calling this function help with i is equal to 0 arr n comma subset and then okay subset is uh, small here so as you be subset then what else do we have power set power set is answer or let me rename this power set over here as well power set and power set then the next thing is sum then the next thing is target and what shall we return we should return the power set okay let us try to run this then we will debug this subset was not declared okay subset okay let me rename this yeah one more thing that we have to do is we have to bring all the same elements together right so for that we need to sort the given array sort arr dot begin comma arr dot end so we sorted the given array now all the similar elements will come together and we will be able to ignore them right we will be able to ignore all the occurrences of that element let me just include the header file I should include uh, bit slash std c plus plus dot h run it again again a wrong answer <clears throat> why are we getting a wrong answer let me test it with the given example test case so let me take this test case we have one test case five elements and the target is two let me run this the output should be one comma one and that's it nothing else and we are getting one comma one but we are getting one also i don't know why are we getting one so if the sum is equal to equal to the target then push it and then uh, return it oh yeah now you got the hint right now you got the hint why do we do backtracking we do backtracking to get correct answers and we are not doing backtracking here sum minus equal to arr of i this is a very important thing we uh, pushed the ith element in the subset and we added that ith element to the summation we asked recursion to do rest of the task now recursion is done doing rest of the task our task is done we did our small part we asked recursion to re handle rest of the task it is done now undo the changes which you made okay 
so remove from the subset and remove from the summation as well and then let us see if you are getting correct answer this is a very important step backtracking okay just always remember it uh, okay we are we getting oh they expected all right all right semicolon is missing all right hell lot of uh, mistakes blunders basically so now we are getting correct answer let me see with all the possible test cases if we are getting correct answer or not we are getting correct answer let me submit this and we will get the correct answer okay so exactly same as the subset 2 problem the only improvement the only change over here is we are just keeping a sum as well okay there we were asked to generate all the possible subsets here we are only asked to generate the subsets whose summation is equal to the given target that's it that's the only difference other than that we are doing exact same thing we are taking this element okay asking recursion to do rest of the task then popping out this this particular element okay undoing whatever changes we have done we undo those changes this is called the backtracking step okay next we are skipping this element when we skip this element we don't do anything to the subset we don't do anything to the sum sum is going to remain same subset is going to remain same we will only ask recursion to do rest of the task from the next element from i plus one okay not from i plus one sorry 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 not from i plus one from the next element which is different okay from the next element which is different let's say you're on the element number five okay you're on the element five so skip all the element fives and go to the next different element that's what you do in the skip part this is very important this is how you avoid generating you uh, the duplicates in the subsets right we already saw this in detail in the lecture number 10 now you should be able to understand it i hope you are able to understand it make sure that you like the video subscribe to the channel if you're new here try to solve this problem by yourself link is there in the description and all the codes are also available in the description so you will be able to do it okay again let me just quickly uh, summarize this first of all bring all the same elements together so that we can ignore them this uh, this is what we do by this sort okay then we call the recursive function there are three base conditions one base condition is when the sum is equal to target obviously save this answer return when the sum exceeds the target return from here we are not never going to come down our sum already exceeded the target in future also it will keep exceeding you will never come down the elements are only positive not negative so ignore this return from here if i is equal to n our i reaches till the end of the vector and we did not find the answer return from here okay these three are the base conditions next take this element ignore this element if we take this element we put it in the subset we add it to the sum okay we ask recursion to handle the task from the next index after recursion is done we pop it from the subset we remove it from the sum done okay this is how we take pick the ith element then if we ignore the ith element you don't have to do anything just ask recursion to do rest of the task but from where not from the next index from the next element which is different okay from the next different element all right so this is the entire summary of it finally we return the answer and we got the correct answer so it was a simple question sub summation combination sum two very simple question now your homework will be to do combination sum three a very interesting problem again try to solve it you will find the link in the description so let us meet in the next episode where we will discuss the combination sum three okay bye bye take care